guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. It is going to be my updated makeup inventory for end of 2022 slash beginning of 2023. And I will be comparing where we are today to where we were at the beginning of 2022. So a year later, and I'm super excited that my numbers have, have improved quite significantly. Although it was still eye-opening to do this, and I definitely have some ideas for my makeup inventory, which I do plan to film right after this, and I'm excited to do my makeup, sorry, I think I said makeup inventory, my makeup rehab series. I'm really excited to do quite a few, like to make quite a few tweaks in my makeup rehab series this year and i really want to make it even more challenging to myself and i want to see my makeup inventory numbers decrease even more significantly when we do this again at the end of 2023 slash beginning of 2024 but if you're interested about my makeup inventory where my numbers lie stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup i would love if you consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video Inevitably my nose is like literally like I don't have the sniffles But every time I do my makeup my nose starts to run and I will edit back my videos and I always have like Like my <laughs> foundations like wearing away underneath my nose and it drives me crazy. Um, I know that my <laughs> Attire doesn't necessarily match my outfit Doesn't necessarily match my makeup but the day that I'm filming this is the last day of the regular season for NFL. The Vikings are going to the Super Bowl, not Super Bowl, I hope they're going to the Super Bowl this year, but they're going to the playoffs and I quite frankly just couldn't be bothered to change my shirt. Okay, you guys, I did a pretty large makeup declutter around like end of August, beginning of September this year. So I was really excited to do my makeup inventory and see how my numbers have changed. And there are some categories that I'm like, ugh, like I still am not super happy about where specific categories lie and I will be trying to be a little bit more strict in certain categories in my makeup rehab. That video will be coming later this week so stay tuned for that. I'll leave my previous makeup rehab series as well as my previous makeup inventories linked down below in case you're interested in checking those out. Let me stop rambling though and just get into the numbers. I will say I there are certain makeup products that I don't feel like I I don't feel like I've been the most accurate in my makeup inventory because I realized like my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter as well as like my Oort Glow Lust, I really don't think I've counted those before. So some of these, I'm like, I feel like I haven't been that accurate. And I also feel like I've noticed like, you know, point perks at Sephora, like when you enter like the little rewards code and you get like a free mascara or a free mini primer or whatever it might be. I feel like I have not tracked when those come into my collection, as well as my sister and I, I swear every time we see each other, we like trade makeup. She'll like bring makeup and I'll bring makeup that I don't want. And that's why I think some of these categories, I was a little bit surprised by the first one being primer. That's why I'm rambling on <laughs> right now. Because when I started the year in, when I last year, at the beginning of 2022, I started the year with 17 primers and I really did not purchase many primers this year. I think I purchased maybe two. And I finished up like four, I think four or six primers. So I was really surprised that my primers, oh, I forgot I should scooch over so that I can post pictures over here. My primer category is still at 17. So we didn't make any progress in lowering this number. And I was just surprised by that. Although I do know my sister has given me a couple of little mini primers. Plus I think I've used rewards codes to get some primers, which is why I think this number is still 17. But I was a little disappointed in that. Next up, we if I'm looking down, I'm obviously referencing my notes. Next up, we have the foundation category. So we started 2022 with 30 total foundations, 14 of them being like tinted moisturizer slash lighter coverage foundations, and then 16 of those being like foundations for a total of 30. We are currently at 29 total. So this category has decreased by one. 17 of those being tinted hydrators yes no 11 of those being tinted moisturizers slash lighter coverage foundations and 17 of those being foundations so we went down in the tinted category and we went 
up in the foundation category. For concealer, um, I have a couple of categories where I accidentally missed a product in the picture. Um, concealer is one of them. So last year we started with 14 concealers and I have gone down by one in this category and I'm currently at 13 concealers, which does make sense because I did use up one concealer um, in 2022. However, I did purchase some concealers, so I did some decluttering in the concealer category. So I don't wanna purchase much for concealer this year. Like I would like to see my concealer category decrease just cause this is just one of the categories where I feel like I have too many, which is interesting that I say that. And then we're going to get to the blush category, which is over 50. And I probably won't say the same thing. For powder, we started last year with 11 powders. We currently are at 11 powders, so we didn't change in this category. Um, I'm not quite sure where I was at in terms of loose versus pressed at the beginning of 2022, but I currently have seven pressed powders and four loose powders. I do have like a little bare minerals powder that I accumulated, I think as a Sephora point perk and I finished up a powder last year. So I know I decluttered some powders though too. So I'm like, did I purchase powders? Uh, like some of my numbers, I'm just a little confused by the bronzer category. We started the year with 30 total bronzers. 12 of them being cream slash liquid and 18 of those being powder. We are now at 28 bronzers, so we have gone down by two, which is super exciting. 13 of those being cream slash liquid and 15 of those being powder. The blush category. We started 2022 at 72 blushes, which is absolutely insane. I did do some decluttering, so we're currently at 60 blushes. 28 of them being cream slash liquid and 32 of them being powder. Last year we started with 32 cream slash liquid and 40 powder. So I'm excited we've decreased by 12 blushes. I do feel like I likely could do some more decluttering in this category of my makeup collection, um, but my heart just isn't ready to yet. For the highlighter category, we started 2022 with 47 highlighters. We are now at 40 highlighters. So we have gone down by seven. Highlighter, my highlighter collection, I feel like I look at it and it looks very small to me. And then I do my makeup inventory and I'm like, how the heck do I have 40 highlighters? I do have 14 cream slash liquid highlights, which is up three from the beginning of 2022 when I started with 11. And then do, I do have 26 powder highlights, which is down 10 from the beginning of last year when I started at, at 36. Setting spray, I went down by four. I started 2022 with eight setting sprays and I currently have four. Four feels like a really great number for me. I would even be probably comfortable with this being at like three. Um, but I also go through a lot of setting spray, so this is not an area that makes me concerned. For brow products, I started 2022 with seven brow products and I now have eight brow products. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, this number I could, like, I feel like I have a very specific brow routine, brow routine now and I could narrow this category down to like three or four, hopefully. So we need to do some work in the brow category. For eye primer, I started 2022 with four eye primers and I now have five. This is another category that should not be over like two, in my opinion. One brow glue or one eye glue, eyeshadow glue, and then one eyeshadow primer is really all I need. For eyeliners, I started 2022 with 43. I have decreased this category by nine and I now have 32 eyeliners, which feels better. Definitely have progress to make here. I do feel like I have a good range of colors, but I feel like my colors are all like greens and like I feel like there's colors that are missing from my eyeliner collection, but then I have like a ton of green eyeliners <laughs> and blue. Brown I love, so like I feel like I could never have enough brown eyeliner, but I feel like I, I'm hoping that the eyeliner category continues to go down. For eyeshadow singles, I started 2022 with 115 eyeshadow singles. I now have 138. I depotted quite a few shades from different palettes that I was decluttering, so I'm not surprised to see this number increase. I think I only purchased like somewhere between four and six singles all of last year. I do like eyeshadow singles, but I'm really bad at using them. I was better last year about cycling through my eyeshadow singles collection, and I'm gonna try and continue on with that this year. 
um, but 138 is a lot of eyeshadow singles <laughs> especially because my eyeshadow palette collection is also very large so speaking of eyeshadow palettes I started 2022 with 153 eyeshadow palettes and I now have 155 which considering that I brought in 36 eyeshadow palettes last year isn't terrible um, it's still a lot and I love eyeshadows so it's just this is a category I want to be mindful of but also don't want to limit myself because I love eyeshadow it's one of my favorite it is my favorite thing to purchase play with and also talk about on my channel for liquid eyeshadow I started 2022 with two liquid shadows and I now have four <laughs> because I purchased two Stila Wanderlusts and I received one in PR um, but liquid shadow I don't really use that frequently I shouldn't have purchased the Stila ones although I have been good about using those two I think because I'm like why the heck did I purchase them now I need to use them but this is a category that like I wouldn't be mad if I had zero liquid shadows in my collection for cream eyeshadows I started 2022 with 11 I now have 10 so I decreased this category by one I purchased a couple of the elf no budge sticks Cream eyeshadow I don't use that frequently. I will say I count my super shock shadows from Colourpop in my eyeshadow singles, not in cream eyeshadow, even though they are technically a cream. Uh, but just wanted to point that out. Cream eyeshadow, what do I have to say about cream eyeshadow? I don't use this that much. I feel like I want to get more into it, but it's just like not my jam. And then I purchase cream eyeshadows and I don't use them still because I pretend when I purchase cream eyeshadow that I'm going to suddenly become a one shadow, one cream shadow and done sort of gal. And then I never do. So I really should not be purchasing any more cream eyeshadows. Truthfully. Okay. Moving on to the lip product category. This is where it gets just so ugly. <laughs> Even though we decreased in just about every category, it's just my lip collection is truly out of control. So liquid lipsticks, we started 2022 with 42 liquid lipsticks. I barely wear liquid lipsticks. So I am happy to report that we have decreased. We've decreased by 11 and I'm now at 31 liquid lipsticks, but that's still way too many. Like I should not be purchasing any liquid lipsticks whatsoever for lipsticks i started 2022 with 45 lipsticks i have decreased this category by three and we are now down to 42 lipsticks i like lipsticks but i don't need 42 in my collection i need to use some of these up my camera battery is gonna die okay we are back uh lipsticks i need to figure my life out here stop buying lipsticks i feel like realistically i should be on like a lip buying ban all 2023 although i hate to put that much of a restriction on myself we'll see we'll see lip gloss i started 2022 with 73 lip glosses way too many that's insane i have decreased by 11 i'm now at 62 lip glosses uh i love lip gloss i'm pretty decent at using lip gloss but i do not need 62 lip glosses in my collection my goal would be to get this number down to like below 50 by the end of the year like that would be a serious accomplishment i do have some little ones and i do have others that like i'm close to finishing off i would love to see my lip gloss collection below 50. for lip balm i live in minnesota i'm a lip balm type of galley i love me some lip balms i started 2022 with 13 and i was actually surprised that this category decreased by three i'm now at 10 lip balms and lip balm is not a category that that causes me too much concern just because i know i use lip balm a lot although i do feel like i have i feel a little bit overwhelmed by my lip balm collection when i was getting ready to prepare my makeup inventory i was like ugh, i feel like i have too many lip balms um so i don't need to buy any lip balm for a while and then lip oils, I didn't count lip oil. Like I counted lip oils in lip in my lip gloss collection at the beginning of 2022, but I've decided to split them. And I currently have nine lip oils in my collection. Um, and even if you even if you added nine to my 62 lip glosses, I still would have come under for my lip gloss slash lip oils, just to set the record straight. And then lip liner, I started 2022 with 19. I currently have 17 in my collection. So this category did decrease by two. I am really bad at using lip liner. I feel like I only remember to use the lip liner if I have a lip liner in a project pan 
Hopefully I can finish one or two lip liners through Project Panning this year, um, but lip liner is a category that I just really shouldn't be buying lip liners either. Mascara. I'm always on a mascara no buy and yet I never seem to be able to decrease my mascara. I will say I am, I'm, I'm the girl that will always, if there is a promo code for a mascara, like I'm getting the free mascara, but I don't buy mascara because I swear you can always get free mascara. So I started 2022 with 25 mascaras and I now have 26. And I used up at least 10 mascaras I think last year. Like I had 10 empties or 10 that had reached expiration. So gonna be on a mascara no buy again in 2023. Would love to see if I could maybe eventually get my mascaras down below 20 while still using the rewards codes. Like I'm not gonna stop getting the free mascara you know for duos and trios i started 2022 with four and this category actually did increase i now have six duos and trios which i'm not super mad at um i feel like i was having fun with like duos trios and face palettes this year this past year in 2022 and i kind of wouldn't be mad to continue that and there's something about face palettes right now that i'm super into and as long as i continue to be good at cycling through them in my collection i'm okay with bringing in the occasional face palette which brings me to the last category we have to talk about and that is face palettes i started 2022 with 10 face palettes and i now have 12. you guys know i have been like a nars collector the last year or so so all the nars face palettes i've felt like i had to have not super mad that this category has increased whereas in the past i feel like i would have been disappointed in myself but as long as i continue to be good at cycling through my face palette collection i'm comfortable with this number so that brings me to grand totals in 2022 at the beginning of the year we started with a grand total of 795 total counted inventory products if you took away my palettes as well as my eyeshadow singles I would have had 527 makeup products in my collection at the beginning of 20 at the beginning of 2022. As it stands now at the beginning of 2023, if you counted everything, my grand total is 769, which is 26 products less than 2022, which I'm happy about, but would have liked to have seen this number even greater like decrease by even greater because i did such a large declutter however taking out palettes and eyeshadow singles which eyeshadow singles i increased by a significant amount my grand total makeup inventory number is 476 makeup products which is a decrease of 51 products if you compare like taking palettes and singles out of both years if you compare those two numbers so the 527 and the 476 i've gone down by 51 makeup products which i am very happy about uh but there are definitely categories of my makeup collection that are still out of control and 2023 i really want to be the year of me using and enjoying what i have for the most part while still having fun i do love makeup i love trying new things so i don't want to completely go on like a no buy for the whole year by any means um but i want to use love and enjoy what i have while dabbling in new makeup here or there so that is where my makeup inventory numbers lie i likely won't i was thinking about doing a quarterly update but i'm hoping i don't bring in that much makeup in the next three months so the next update i will do a mid-year update for my makeup inventory um i would say for goals for that would love to see actually would love to see do we i feel like it would be super aggressive super aggressive if i could get this i was gonna say if i could get this number below four like at 450 or lower that'd be an aggressive goal but i'm gonna put it out into the universe right now 450 if like i need to congratulate myself with something special if in june my makeup inventory numbers are 450 or lower keep that in mind um but i would love to know how is your makeup inventory do you track your makeup inventory are you happy with where your makeup inventory sits right now is it better than last year how are we feeling this year in 2023 are we thinking we're buying all the new makeup or are we thinking we're just going to enjoy what we have that's where i'm at right now i want to bring in 
less stuff in 2023 but i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for sticking around to watch for supporting me and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you so much and i will catch you in my next video bye